Hey guys, Terex here with another commentary on a uh, this time a real game. <laughs> real game. Uh, this is Wind Up vs Agent, as you can see in the title, obviously, and it's um, of course the September 1st format. Um, I will be having a few games from Dueling Network up soon. Commentaries also, uh, which aren't. Um, from the first, uh, September 1st, but they're pretty cool, some of them. Um, deck choices, that's they're pretty awesome. So, gonna have, have those up soon, I guess, when I got time. And I have lots of pack openings. I have um, a booster box opening, um, and I have a uh, a few tin openings also. And um, yeah, which I'm also gonna have up very soon so um but yeah as always check out the uh, description uh, I always have a lot of cool stuff down there um, which uh, you should check out links to some awesome people um, shout out to um, to a good friend of mine uh, who just started his channel he is uh, he's still up and coming um, I mean uh, he has He's pretty good at playing, so um, and and he had just made his channel, so um, if you're up for some creative discussions, some creative deck profiles and stuff like that, um, give him out, give him a chance and subscribe if you want. So um, okay, as we can see, um, our agent player he summons the Thunder King, and I summon um, my magician. So he uh, thinks, uh, or he asked uh, wh how uh, how this all happens and stuff like that. He has been ju uh, judging instead of playing, so um, uh, so much so he doesn't actually. Uh, I guess he just doesn't know all the ruling stuff right now, which is or not ruling, but um, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the rulings he not he knows, but basically the effects of all the new cards. Um, and sh uh, special summoning shark is an effect is not an inherent summon so um so basically thunder king can't do shit about it um so with the magician effect um i get out um the hunter basically i knew that in at some point i would have been stopped so i w i went for hunter instead of some otk uh, also because he, this Thunder King can just negate the first uh, special summon, so uh, I would rather have a Hunter in my graveyard and fade out a, um, a turn to Tribute. So that's kind of my, my reasoning behind that one. So we do see an attack of 1900 with the second Thunder King directly to my life points. And a calculator. I hope you can see this. Uh, I can, actually. Uh, I can, so... Um, I hope it stays in the screen. I, I had no control over the camera right there, uh, so so yeah. Uh, special uh, normal summoning red. Um, red's effect obviously put it to defense to uh, special summon one from the graveyard, which is again just a special sum uh, an effect summon. So then I can can't do anything about it. But okay, DD Crow getting uh, popped out. Um, and because DD Crow doesn't negate, my red still goes to defense. Um, there are several other ways, uh, like if you Vela the red, it stays in, in attack mode, just like Lila. Uh, they don't go to, go to the defense to defense since it's a part of the effect. Um, okay, so we do see a Venus, which is <coughs> which is not good. I actually can't remember anything about this match. We took it actually, I guess it was two weeks before uh, this September 1st, but um, but we played with the new format uh, rules just because it was better. I, I think it's better to just get used to that. So, he does pay 1000 life points, summoning uh, two uh, shine balls, and um, and yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a huge force on the field down there. So <laughs> I have no idea how this game went. I only um, 
I know that this is a free games match because it takes like 25 minutes so I guess it's since both decks are kind of explosive um, therefore that, that's not much stalling in there so um, okay we do see an overlay of the shine balls to Akashi uh, Gardens which is quite good so yeah red uh, normal summoning and under normal summon I special summon shark red's effect special summons um, the magician I actually did this wrong because um, I should have waited I should have um, done red to special summon the magician and then special summoning the shark which would trigger basically trigger the magician's effect um, I have been playing windups a little so I don't know how uh, why I made this mistake this misplay um, especially because I could have got that magician's effect right now but uh, okay I didn't but overlaying um, the two lo uh, level threes to uh, rank three uh, basically I want to bait that Thunder King out uh, in some way but I should have no no <laughs> I should have taken another level 3, I guess. That wasn't the plan. Um, I don't know why I did that. But, especially because he has a 2000 Venus in the field, which he can't get through. So, overlaying the, those two magicians, unfortunately, one of them didn't use its effect, so it didn't get all bo uh, plus out of that move. Mm. So, yeah. My options are kind of few. Um, overlaying those two to an uh, Utopia. And I am attacking into Gachi Guns because uh, he might sit on the Honest. Uh, I remember that one. <laughs> and uh, running into an Honest, uh, losing that uh, Utopia is never fun. So it does remove from the field or the graveyard. Uh, one to special summon Hyperion. Hyperion's effect removes a fairy, which will be Shine Ball, to destroy the Utopia. And I don't know if it's lagging, but yeah, that's game. I do believe I could have had a lot better field if if um, if I would have used that correct, but. Um, Oh yeah, well that's what happens. Game two. Um, obviously, I choose to start because that's what wind up does best. Even though it's after uh, with the new ban list, but yeah. Um, that is a car card D. I'm testing it in the wind ups at this point. I did take it out after all. Um, but uh, yeah, I just didn't want to to split up decks to uh, to get the Kaka D's out and and change them around all the time. So so I actually proxied them. I don't know why, but I guess at that time I uh, I was just too lazy. Taking Kaka D, summoning Kaka D, um, and setting two. So I don't have to discard. Uh, I could have went for setting one, but I just hate MST. So, so yeah. Okay, so we do see um, a Earth getting summoned. Earth gets to search out the Venus, which gets to be added to the hand. <laughs> um, I'm gonna see how this works because obviously, since he won the first match, I am gonna win this one. Ha <laughs> ha! I I just trolled you. With that. <laughs> no, but I guess that's obvious. Um, since I said it was a match. Oh, and you can't see um, can't see the life points. Okay, but MSTing a bottomless travel. That's kind of good. Guess I lost one thousand so far. So um, okay, tour guide, tour guide effect. And Turgot gets crazy. I guess I'm proxying some 
other stuff too. I guess it's when a rabbit I was proxying at that point. I was waiting for uh, uh, a friend of mine who had my super rares uh, rabbits. I, I traded all my secrets uh, when they were still kind of expensive, so um, that's quite good. <coughs> okay, so using um, special summoning uh, carrier, it's a mighty carrier, using its effect. So I get to special summon one from the deck. Um, what am what am I going to go for? Because there are no windups in the graveyard, as I remember, and I do see a magician on my hand. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, that is a windup rabbit. Um, there. Really good card. I mean, it's it's enormous good. Uh, but only when playing a competitive, I would say. When playing for fun with friends and stuff, uh, it's not that good because you normally just well you play bad. It's not like you play super uh, you, that you're super ups on what you're doing every play that you do and win that way. Because when a rabbit, you have to use it correct. And when topping it in the third match, it gives the opponent. Um, a lot of nerves on, so so yeah. Um, it was honest. I thought so because uh, that's why I attacked with the rabbit. Um, I would rather keep my send my carrier on my field than the rabbit. So I lose um, 1,400. What? Yeah. How much? <laughs> I never remember. Oh yeah. It must be his attack, so I lose 1,000 more, so I'm at uh, 6,000 6, right now, he's at 8. Um, he does go for Venus. And he, he does pay 1,500, uh, so it's his first damage, to special summon uh, shine, free Shine Balls. And he does put them to attack. <laughs> Here he um he maze played somehow, but obviously it's more damage than um than if he would have made it any uh, the other way around. But um, this way I got to pop with mirror force. I am maining two, so <laughs> uh pretty awesome going for that mirror force, clearing up his whole field, but it wouldn't have made that much of a difference if he had gone for a gachi guns. Um, so yeah, obviously he could have gone for something with earth, a synchro or something, but even I guess mirror force would have wrecked it anyways, so... Okay, uh, carrier's effect, special summoning, um, a magician. To the fence. Now I uh, am non summoning a rat. Rat's effect, I have the rabbit in my graveyard, so I take up a rabbit and now magician effect it procs. Um, see, this is how uh, when uh, when windups actually become tricky because when you already have a field, when your opponent already has a field or a big hand and you know he's playing a lot of hand traps and stuff like that, um, it's very complicated what you have to go for uh, what exceeds what uh, all that stuff so uh, one of rabbits effect vanishing itself uh, triggering the second magician's effect and magician obviously some special summons in defense mode the same as rat the only one where you so uh, can choose yourself is the carrier all the other special summons are to defense mode so but yeah Everything uh, but the hunter has used its effect. Um, so I guess the the best play would be to go for um, for hunt, hunter effect. Just try to take out the gores. <laughs> hmm. I gotta see how this how this works. Yeah. I don't see the reasoning behind taking out a magician. 
Um, taking out Didi Crow, that's pretty nice. Um, but I should have taken the carrier, I guess. But, uh, that's why I didn't. <laughs> um, compulsory. Really good, really good. Bouncing the carrier to the deck, uh, or to the extra deck, using um, or using the red and the hunter to overlay again, taking out a red, and this way taking out the other magician, I would guess. No, oh. <laughs> the second crow. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's sad. That's really sad. <laughs> he seriously had two crows. Luckstagger. <laughs> All right. Um, pretty good play of him. The plan was to loop uh, a few cards of his hand and then go for some damage, but I guess that failed. Pretty hard. Oh, Monster Reborn, <laughs> going all in here, taking a uh, level 3, so I get to overlay, because basically those monsters are useless. Um, oh yes, that's pretty nice actually. Detaching uh, one, taking Hunter up uh, to attack mode, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, taking out the, um, the Magician. As before was thought, and discarding his, uh, I guess that's a Tragodia from his hand, so that's pretty cool. Um, and obviously attacking, so he is at. I'm at, I'm at 6,000, but I can't see what he's at because he lost 16, 15, 18. Uh, let, let me just. And he had used the, sh uh, the Venus effect. Um, the Venus effect takes him down to 65. Um, then I attack with 16, 15, and 18. So he is down to 16. Well, yeah, he's down to 16. So basically, I if he didn't have <laughs> had that uh, crow, I would have gamed him. Checking his graveyard, see what he can go for. Mm. But I get my rat, uh, rabbit effect at my stand, but this, and I believe I can get over anything. Um, yeah, uh, we are talking about then my ca uh, carrier's other effect. Oh, summoning Venus. Using Monster Reborn, taking up. Let's see. Basically, got useless stuff. Taking up a Venus. Uh, doesn't really matter what uh, what he would take at that point. Lots of targets. And so, oh, Tem Temple. I guess. Uh, yeah, it is Tem Temple. So yeah, I am uh, actually giving him a tip here, because he can detach one, take out Zen Mighty Carrier's uh, material, then attacking into Zen Mighty Carrier, um, and then at the standby phase of my turn, he could take out the Levier, um the Levier uh, thing, so actually Tem Tembo would have had 27 at this point but I guess he wanted to save that for um, when I exceed something now um, I don't think it, it would make that much of a difference um, it has 23 uh, so basically a Leviathan can hit over it at any time and I do have the Hunter plus the um, the ra uh, rabbit on my field, so I would actually have detached both of my materials and uh, made Tem Tempo uh, 2700 and then attacking into the hunter, so I wouldn't have that. But obviously, normal summoning, 
um, into string degen attacking and basically for game. So that was game two. Now into the final match, and I know who wins, but I won't tell you. Gotta see this. <laughs> so uh, remember to check out the uh, check out the description, the links down there, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Come with the suggestions to these commentaries, all that stuff. Um, and and of, uh, as always, uh, like my video, spread my name out to different YouTubers, whatever. I you want to promote me? <laughs> nah. I am happy you're watching this. Uh, if you have watched so far, thank you for watching so far. So uh, okay. Into the game, summoning the earth. I didn't see what you took up with the duality, but you obviously saw that, I guess. And this sudden kind of annoying on the field, but um, it's not that bad. The glare is not that bad. So, using my part of duality, <laughs> obviously, I should have taken the two guide and normal summoned the two guide without effect. Cause that's Baus. No. <laughs> Taking uh, the part of Avarice off of my head. Uh, part of Avarice is just such a power card. Uh, it's uh, it's just amazing card uh, that card. Saying it, no one's saying attacking it. Uh, I wouldn't mind if he would have used honest at that point because it would have been have been plus for me, I would guess. The mail has come. Awesome. Alright. Setting. Free back rows. I have no idea what I set at that point. So, MST. That's basically why I set free cards. Because I hate MST and I hate Heavy Storm and I always get wrecked to those two cards. I definitely think that MST should have been taken down by one. Or, or down to one um, just because um, MST is maybe a little too good and it will force people to play other spell card destruction effects uh, or cards so breaker would have been more viable and all this stuff so okay, he does pay all Uh, he does pay uh, 1500 um, as you can see um, to special summon the three of them and getting tarantulas obviously he did hit the wrong one with that MST but, but yeah as I said I, I think it would be great to have some other options um, instead of MSTs um, or getting to play some other cards. Basically that's what they did by banning so much of the insectors. They made it possible to play all those other cards. Uh, so therefore I think MST would also be a great target. Uh, but yeah. Summoning the uh, magician. Especially summoning the shark from my hand. Which triggers magician's effect. Uh, putting uh, the shark down to level 3 and triggering the other magician's effect. So Hunter, I do know he plays a lot of hand traps and other stuff, so I would rather go for um, go for the Hunter and discard cards from his hand. That's because agents are so reliable on their hands, basically. They don't use traps and other stuff, they use the hand to, um, to do stuff, so okay. I, I do get uh, DD Crowed. Uh, point so it wouldn't matter uh, anyhow he would have DD crowed so basically I got one card from his hand for free uh, which is always better um, so attacking with 15 into um, a Tragodia which has 600 right now setting one back row um, so I still think 
looping two cards from your opponent's hand is definitely better in some um, some cases and some uh, yeah sometimes than actually making the OTK. Uh, you always gotta consider what your opponent ha might have on his hand. All right, so normal summoning the Venus, um, uh, turning a uh, Tragodia into a level three also. Uh, it's a trap. String, Jin, I guess. No, it's Tem Tempo. Uh, and using Judgment, basically he is down to one card on his hand. So what can he do at this point? Um, He has 5,000 left. I uh, have 4,000. He has one set back row and heavy storming his card. I, it was a warning. Yeah, solemn warning, I see. So I would basically have made it game at that point. So, yeah, this is the uh, duel. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching some September 1st uh, format plays, watching some uh, wind up looping and all that stuff. Thanks for watching.